Hi, my name is John Panunzio. I'm the Chief Training Officer for Whitby Fire and Emergency Services. Part of our role here is to provide education, leadership, and innovation to our 128 firefighters. This week, we're down at the Whitby Marina performing ice water rescue with our firefighters from the Suppression Division. We're working through our water rescue sequence, talk, reach, throw, row, and go, and honing on some of our skills with our equipment to master the craft of ice water rescue. Let's go see the team practice water rescue training. We've got four firefighters coming off of our rescue truck. They have donned our Ice Commander dry suits. So what we're practicing and working on today is a variety of different skill sets. It's real important for our firefighters to be prepared for an emergency if someone should fall into the water. It should be noted that hypothermia sets in very quickly as the cold water, regardless of whether you can swim or not, will impact your judgment and your ability to self-rescue. One of the first things that we teach our firefighters um, for ice water rescue is self-rescue. We practice the discipline of getting yourself to an ice shelf, reaching out as far as you can with your arms and kicking as hard as you can and reaching out to ensure that you're able to make it safely. The education requirements for becoming a firefighter begin at a college level. The pre-service fire training and education program are available in a variety of community colleges across the province. Once hired as a Whippy firefighter, there are a variety of different career paths that you can look for. We have the fire prevention division as well as training division. We have the shift trainer instructors. There are a variety of different certifications that you can take advantage of for your career development in order to advance to a variety of different divisions. Thanks for joining us today. For more information, visit whippy.ca slash fire. <laughs>